okay so this is the definition of producer's problem okay so where the producer is a competitive firm okay so i'm going to call it a competitive firm because they are price taker okay it's a price taker okay competitive uh so this is a three variable problem uh so obviously if you want to do anything with it even if you want to plot some sort of level curves or you know iso profit curves with y l and k uh you will need a three dimensional picture okay so how to how to handle such problems okay one way in which you can handle this problem is you can break the problem into pieces okay and then handle it okay so let me just tell you how what what i meant when i said breaking the problem into pieces okay so if you have more than two variable problem uh, then this is how you can break it into pieces and and approach okay so what you can do is you can do it in two steps okay maximize with respect to y Okay. and then maximize with respect to lk py minus wl minus rk subject to y less than or equal to flk so what you are doing here is this that you are solving it in two steps first you are solving this inner problem okay the problem that is there in the brackets okay and then you are going to solve this problem so when you are going to solve this problem that is there in the brackets you take y as given okay and then you will choose y among all, all the maximizers you choose that y you know which maximizes this expression is that okay because for every y you are going to get certain level of profit okay then all that you need to do is for all these y's you know uh you have certain level of profits then you choose that y that yields the maximum profit make sense is that clear okay so you solve this profit maximization problem with respect to lk for a given y when you do that for that given y you know what labor and capital maximize the profit okay and then you change the y to something else and then you keep doing it for every y you will end up solving this problem and then when you do that then you choose y which maximize the profit among all those you know solutions make sense have you all understood this okay so if this is clear we can continue now notice that when you are solving this inner problem this term is just a constant okay so adding a constant doesn't affect the solution so i can take this out of the maximization problem okay why is this a constant because it only depends on y so it will figure you know it will have some role in this problem when you are solving with respect to y but it has no role in this problem when you are solving this particular problem with respect to l and k okay the reason is because this is fixed p is given y is given when you are solving this problem inside the bracket okay so all that you need to do is you can just rewrite this as maximize with respect to y py plus maximize with respect to lk minus wl minus rk subject to y less than or equal to flk okay so you can write it in this way okay now you have this particular problem notice that if you take this minus sign out okay the maximization problem will become a minimization problem okay the reason is maximizing the negative of an objective is same as minimizing the positive of it okay so what you can do is you can just rewrite this problem in this way maximize with respect to y py minus 
minimize with respect to labor and capital wl plus rk subject to y less than or equal to flk is this fine okay so once you have this now it's easily doable okay the problem is easily doable now what i'm going to do is this i'm going to solve this problem for every y okay i'm going to solve this problem for every y okay this is a cost this is known as cost minimization problem cost minimization problem so how to you know how to understand this problem basically given these w and r you want to choose labor and capital in such a way that you minimize cost subject to the constraint that you want to attain y level of output is that okay you want to attain y level of output because you would want to sell y unit of output so you want to attain the production of at least y level of output is that okay so how can you do that in you know uh, in a way that minimizes the cost make sense so notice that this was profit maximization problem so a part of solving a profit maximization problem is minimizing the cost is that okay so a part of profit maximization problem is minimizing the cost so whatever output you want to sell you would want to produce it at a least possible cost if you want to maximize profit okay that's how you can interpret this okay now if we solve this problem okay we already have seen something like this in the consumers problem so do you, do you recall what kind like which problem uh, is identical to this problem in all respects you know the one that we have solved in the consumers consumer theory exactly the expenditure minimization problem okay for which the solution was hicks in demand right so it's exactly the same problem i mean we already know how to solve it okay it's just that you know we are not going to call the solutions uh, hicks in demand we are going to call the solution to this particular problem conditional labor demand and conditional capital demand okay so solution to this problem is known as so it has two components because we are going to choose labor and capital so these are the names conditional labor demand and conditional capital demand so conditional labor demand is a function of wry similarly conditional capital demand is a function of wry so when you solve it you will get this okay and what will be the optimal cost of producing y level of output at these input prices so the optimal cost is known as cost function cost function is the optimal cost of producing y level of output when input prices are w and r okay so what are we going to get how do we get it from this solution so all that you're going to do is you're going to write c w r y so cost is a function of w r and y okay why is it a function of w r and y because it is w times l c w r y which is a function of w r y plus r times k c which is also a function of w r y okay please note that you know once you want to solve this particular problem okay you will you can replace this by the optimal cost you don't have to write the cost minimization problem again you can replace this by optimal cost so that now you just have to solve this problem it's just a one variable problem 
because you already have optimal cost of uh, you know uh, uh, producing y level of output so once you have the optimal cost then all that you need to do is just solve this problem uh, this maximization problem with respect to y is that clear okay so that is how you can simplify it make sense okay uh, note that solution to this problem is going to have three components as i've told you y l and k okay but when you solve this particular problem you only solve for y okay and that y is your supply function okay so that's basically the supply you already learned how to solve for demand in the consumer problem this solution to this particular problem is known as supply okay so solution is supply function okay so can you tell me what what is uh, this going to be a function of supply is going to be a function of what when you are going to maximize this with respect to y it is going to be a function of what so it's a function of pw and r when you are solving this problem you are taking these as given right so if you change them the optimal solution will change so it's going to be a function of pw and r is that clear here you are solving the cost minimization problem and you took y w and r as given so it was a function of y w so the solution will depend on y w and r okay so it's going to be a function of y w and r here you are solving the profit maximization problem where you take p w and r as given so it is going to be a function of p w and r so please make sure that you know you know how to write that because if you don't know what your optimal solution will depend on then you will you know you will in all situation end up writing it wrong okay so once you solve for supply then you know the optimal output okay that you want to sell then you can use these conditional labor and capital demands okay remember conditional labor and capital demands were conditional on output okay so they depends on output but now you know what is the actual output that you want to sell earlier you didn't know what was the actual output when you are solving this problem so you wrote it as a function of y now that you know you can plug it back here okay and that's going to give you labor demand function okay and if you plug it back here that's going to give you capital demand function okay so that's going to give you the other two components of the solution to this maximization problem which is labor demand and capital demand okay so what is labor demand function labor demand function is a function of p w and r okay and it is equal to so how do you get labor demand from conditional labor demand so you plug in in place of y y s okay because ys is a function of pwr so that makes this whole thing a function of pw and r okay and what is capital demand capital demand is also a function of pwr and that can be uh, you know found using conditional capital demand because now that you know how much you want to supply so you want to just plug it back into you know the cap conditional capital demand function to retrieve the capital demand function okay so this is labor demand notice that now i have removed the word conditional because it is not conditioned on output anymore this is the final labor demand okay and this is capital demand 